user information will be a familiar journey back to settings, game setup, and then over to that last tab. Now, section seats, real names, and about me. Uh, sections, these are your periods. These are the classes you teach. If you want, I'm going to copy this so I don't have to retype it. If uh, you want to remove something, you click once and say, are you sure? Or you just double click and get rid of it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's okay. You just add the row back and click in here and type your information. So typically I just have the classes I teach and then an extra one that I call visitors. And the visitors are for teachers and other people who want to look into the, the game as a player. And so I set up a login for them and they can uh, navigate through the game and learning about it without mucking up my seating chart because all this information populates your clipboard. Uh, so uh, this is where you put your periods down. And uh, then seats. Do you have a seating chart, assigned seating. If you do, this is wonderful. If you don't, well, it's okay. It's no big deal. You just don't use this. Um, and you do that back in uh, the setups when you're picking those little checkbox, what do you want to include in the login information in the player's profile. Now, the real name filter, I always, always, always use display name only. So the students only see the nickname that um, players give themselves. Now, the weak link in this is the default nickname is first name, last name, all one word, all lowercase letters. So <laughs> one of the first things I ask students to do is, you know, one of the first quests would be, hey, change your display name. And it's a good check for understanding if you put it in the daily, because kids are going to think, well, some kids will think, how's he ever going to know if I watch this or not? Well, I slip things in to the daily. And um, if that display name didn't change, yet they claim to have watched the video uh, by clicking complete, well, you have learned something about that individual. And that information over the course of the first few weeks is going to provide you with useful information. But this use of display names, what it's really good for is the students only see each other by these display names because they can look at the leaderboard and they can look at each other's blogs. Um, they can't dig into their stats panels, but they can see what they've posted. And I want kids to write for an authentic audience. So uh, pretenders will get called out. Hey, who's Fuzzy Bunny? Fuzzy Bunny is cheating, man. Look at this. This is plagiarism. Copied and pasted this. Um, kids will guard the upper tiers of the leaderboard, and then you can hide the lower tiers so nobody sees those. Um, but that's why. you don't, A full name, that would be used in an adult-only situation, kind of like this. But I want you guys to learn the value of display names. As an admin, I see everything. So will you. You see first name, last name, display name. You see it all. Uh, and then the About Me quest, it, I'll be honest. This is a, a newer feature, but I haven't used it. And it is incredibly valuable. You toggle this on. You make a quest. You select it right here. You select from your list of existing quests. And that About Me quest, you know, do you want to make it public? No. No, you want to hide this thing. And this tab goes right here on the user users, you know, the student stats panel. Remember, all other students see of this stats panel is their blog. They can't see all of this, so they can't dig in to what's going on. Um, but the About Me tab would appear first. And this is something just between the students and you, where they can let you know. You know, first of all, it's general information. You know, what do you like? What are your hobbies? All this stuff. You get to know them a little bit more. And it's between the two of us. And then later on, it becomes a place for them to say, hey, something's going on. I got problems. You know, they don't want to approach you, but they can tell you. And when they tell you it's private, 
but it'll show up in your reader, you know, back on Gameful. So using the About Me quest uh, can be very valuable, and I'm going to do it this year. I haven't in the past. I confess, I have not used this feature, but I will. <laughs>